So uh, the controversy continues with Bud Light Beer, the brand suffering from poor sales after it hired a transgender social media influencer uh, to promote the beer. Sorry, but just the whole term influencer just makes me want to laugh. But hey, it's out there. So company executives are just puzzled that customers in the Midwest and South just don't want to drink a beer. I know, shocker. Promoted by a, I don't know, 95 pound, give or take guy in a dress who prances around pretending to be what he thinks is a woman. Who knew? Yeah, I know. We're all stunned. Uh, one video on Twitter went viral of a man who says that he is a merchandiser for an Anheuser-Busch affiliate. And he says, this is so sad. He says he can barely feed his family after Bud Light sales tanked. Take a look. Um, I work for an affiliate company. I am a merchandiser. And the sole product of the company I work for is Anheuser-Busch products. So with all this canceling going on, um, there's, I mean, I've never seen such little sales in this past few days uh, on these products. And it's, it's sad because when people don't buy this beer, I don't make money, and I can't feed my family. So it's kind of uh, heartbreaking, I guess, that um, Anheuser-Busch did what they did. They don't know their clientele, so it's uh, kind of heartbreaking. Thanks, Anheuser Busch. I may not be able to feed my family coming up here soon. Not kind of heartbreaking. It's very heartbreaking that this so-called marketing director basically insulted the brand and basically the people that buy the brand. And the employees that, again, count on that to feed their family. I want to welcome back in um, Joanna and Rachel. That is, that is gut-wrenching. You know, I'm from Kansas. I'm not a beer drinker myself. But, you know, a lot of my friends, they like Bud Light. And this is just a hard-working, normal, real American guy trying to make a living. And, you know, I don't even, I don't even want to play the video of the marketing director. Because she insulted. Mm-hmm. I mean, she t insulted her target audience by calling them, I think the term was fratty. Yeah, we need to be inclusive and we just, you know, we don't want to be fratty. I mean, th those are the people buying your beer and now this guy may not make enough money to feed his family. Congratulations. Right. Yeah, this is another, there's two things going on here. It's like the woke corporate elite versus real America. You see a guy like that, I mean, he depends on these sales to feed his family. And what happens when you don't feed your, you're not able to feed your family, your whole, your whole life gets destroyed. You know, your kids can't, you know, afford, you know, can't afford things for your kids and, and then the lack of pride. And, you know, we saw the same things happening with bad trade deals, you know, jobs going out the window. Other thing is with this Dylan Mulvaney guy, I mean, they are, they are preying on young people and um, mentally ill people. Yes. He's clearly sick. These doctors make, I think, $100,000 when someone goes through the whole trans process. And you're basically affirming the fact that that person is correct in that they feel that they were not perfectly and wonderfully and beautifully created as they were from birth. And so this is a whole hodgepodge of hurting American workers and escalating and elevating the uh, mental health crisis that's plaguing this country.